Hey guys and gals, how y'all doing out there today? Um, one, I want to say I'm sorry I haven't been able to get a video out in how long. Um, it's been at least a month. Uh, just a lot of work, a lot of overtime. Uh, it's super busy and it just, it sucks. And with working nights, setting aside video time is just, it's not easy to do. And two, I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys have been really great and I have now just actually gotten past 100 subscribers. Um... I, my, my whole plan was at 100 subscribers, I wanted to do a giveaway, now I'm at 101, and I just, I honestly kind of can't believe it, I, I, I just never thought my little channel would be able to get this, this many subscribers, so that's just cool to me, but like I said, I want to do a little giveaway, just to say thank you, uh, this is the Kershaw CQC 4K XL, um, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll tell you how you can win this, but first let's review this thing. Um, standard drilled through lanyard hole, pretty standard. Um, I will say the lanyard is kind of a necessity on this knife for me personally, just because, uh, if you're using the Emerson hook, uh, um, like this thing is designed to do, all you can get is two fingers on it, and that's not very secure, it could come flying out of your hand, and, uh, you know, hit the dog or grandma, and that's just, that's no, that's no good. Uh, so with the lanyard, when you grab the knife, you grab the lanyard first, then you grab the knife with the two fingers, it comes out, you can flip it out, no problem, it's nice and secure, it's not going to hurt anyone unless they're standing behind you. Um, so, But like, so I personally think this is a little bit of a necessity. Um, it has a good pocket clip on it, uh, it definitely holds it securely in your pocket, never had any problems with it. Um, yeah. It's also nice that it's blacked out, even though that you know this metal part sticking out it's still a little less obvious. Um, a nice, strong frame lock. Um, I've had other frame locks from Kershaw in the past, and they haven't been the strongest frame locks, or at least they weren't as strong as I think they could have been. Um, just something about this one, how they did it. Um, the lockup is absolutely perfect on this knife. No uh, blade play forward or back, side to side, nothing. Um, locks up solidly. There's no lock stick. Um, just, yeah, this is a great knife. I do have this tightened down a little bit uh, tighter than I think maybe some people would. But, uh, like I said, this, this thing locks up securely and has never failed me yet. Oh, I almost forgot. It is uh, drilled and tapped for left or right hand carry, by the way. Um, a decent... Uh, G10 scale here. I gotta say, it's decent. It's not the best G10. Um, it's not super grippy, but for a $40 budget Kershaw made in China, what can you really expect? Um, it does work well. Some people have said that uh, it's actually nylon, not G10. I, mine is G10, I can tell you that. Um, if you look along the edges here, uh, you can actually see the layers. Mine, I know mine is G10. A nice long 3.875 inch blade. Uh, made of um, 8CR14 MOV. I had to think about it for a second. Um, it, supposedly it's an upgrade to 8CR. Um, I haven't seen much of a difference. Honestly, I've had this knife about a year. Um, it's one of those minute little details. If it means something to you, hey, technically it's better than 8CR13. Um, a very kind of murdery looking spear point shape here. Um, I do like this blade shape, but it's definitely meant for stabbing. Um, which this knife does excel at. I've, you know, stabbed through cardboard and other stuff. It, it really does well in that role. Um, with the hollow grind here, though, it actually cuts decently. It's not the best cutting knife out there. Um, because it's got a pretty thick blade stock, and it's, uh, just... There's not much ground here. It's, I, I prefer it to be a higher, uh, high flat grind or, um, a higher hollow grind. So, I don't know. Like I said, it's still okay behind the edge. It's it's still kind of thick behind the edge, but it, it definitely cuts. And this thing, it actually, it did take a pretty nice edge uh, once I sharpened it up. Now, everyone, you know, the reason you buy something like this is because of this little hook right here. If you don't know what that is, that is the Emerson uh, Wave feature. Um, it is a little hook that catches on your pants... And it allows you to open the knife really rapidly, and I'll demonstrate that now. I mean, most of you guys who are watching this video, odds are I've seen this done before. Um, but if any of you newer people out there maybe haven't. Now what you do is you just pull back and out a little bit. And the knife just flies right open. Um, 
a lot of people like them for tactical blades just because of that. Obviously, you know, you get the knife deployed and in hand really quick and you're ready to go. Um, I wanted an Emerson knife for many, for a very long time. And uh, I was just... I couldn't get past the 200 to 250 something dollar price point and I I still can't honestly because this is cool yes but I've kind of grown out of it um when I first started my knife collecting this was I need to have one of these but now it's just kind of meh I mean don't get me wrong it works very well it's very functional for that role um this knife in general is actually very a very very functional tactical blade with a nice length here. I mean, it's got enough belly for slashing. Um, it's a great, excellent piercing blade. Um, with the tip, it's, you know, it's not too uh, thick or anything, but it's also not too thin. It's a nice, durable tip. Uh, this knife excels as, as a tactical blade. But let me go over the things I don't like about it. One, this thumb disc. In fact, any thumb disc. I'm not a fan of thumb disc, discs personally. They just, I've gotten pretty practiced with this knife. And most, a lot of the times I can get it to open with just my thumb without wrist action, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, so honestly, I have to, when I just use my thumb, I need to use wrist action to get this knife open. Um, it, it is what it is. It's, again, a $40 Kershaw. Um, like I said, the thumb disc, they, it, it just doesn't do it for me. But a thing that adds to that is the fact that inside this pivot, while the pivot, I'm sure, is fine, um, it's the washers. It's basically plastic or PVC or nylon something washers, and they're just not, I mean, it's, it's not like it's got, a, maybe it's a little gritty, but it's not super bad or anything, um, but it just doesn't give the, the smoothness that you need. It's not going to be like, you know, your griptilian, which can, you know, just swing and fall shut or anything. Um, like I said, with that, with the thumb disc, I really wish this knife would have had a thumb stud. Uh, yeah, thumb stud. Uh, thumb stud, just because you can get behind it a little bit better and uh, just get that blade open like you can with something with a thumb stud there. Um, overall, I gotta say, a really good knife for the money. Uh, for 40 bucks or 39.95, I think Blade HQ had them uh, today. I checked. Like I said, nine inches, uh, a, a long blade, a good, comfortable handle with a good thumb ramp and a good choil here this this is a tactical blade this thing that is what this thing is meant to do personally i don't carry this one for edc really mainly just because if you have to pull this out and use it someone's gonna get scared if you have to be around people at least um someone's gonna get scared just because oh my god he's got a knife apparently something smaller maybe like your griptilian or something like this is you know just a little bit smaller and a a little bit easier for people to handle. Um, yeah, it's... I don't know. Just, people are weird. Alright, let's do some size comparisons, then we'll get going here. Um, definitely, yeah, the Griptilian is going to be a lot smaller. Uh, 3.45 inch blade well, with a much shorter handle than this thing. Um, this is, you know, again, a 3.875 inch uh, blade with a 9 inch overall, so this is, you know, this is very small comparative, comparatively. Um, another Ernest, uh, Ernest Emerson collaboration through Kershaw, the Launch 5. Um, longer handle, longer blade, um, but again, the same thumb ramp that is just so comfortable and so grippy. I really wish the jimping on this one matched this one a little bit better, just because this is a little... It's not as sharp as I think it should be, um, but it's no slouch either. That's, like I said, you're not going to slide anywhere. Um, two ends of the spectrum, though, too. $40 budget, $120 you know, made in USA auto. It's just, um, yeah. And then one more, just a big old tactical blade, kind of like this one. This is the ZT0909 designed by Les George. Um, still actually a shorter handle. This has a relatively short handle compared to this. I mean, obviously. But, um, the blade length is pretty close. This is still a little bit shorter. But this has a bit more contour to it and just a little bit more size. Um, that I think just makes it a little bit more comfortable. And, uh, a little bit more easier to use, honestly. Alright. That's all I got for that. Now, onto the giveaway part. If you guys, um... I'm, I am going to say you have to be a subscriber, so make sure you're subscribed. And all you're going to have to do is leave a comment down in the comment section. 
and tell me what your favorite EDC knife is, or tell me why you like this to add, to add this to your collection, or add me, or you know, tell me a a stupid little fact about knives or something. Just the best comment or the one I like the most um, will win the knife. I will get a hold of you through the uh, YouTube email, basically. Um, I will give you one week to respond, and if you do not respond, I will move on to the next person. I am going to be leaving the competition open for one week. Um, if we don't get enough views, uh, I may leave it open for two weeks, and it's not exactly set. But, uh, like I said, make sure you keep your, you know, check your messages. I will make a, a video saying who won, and, you know, let you know that I am trying to get a hold of you. Um, all right. So, thanks guys, if you could, just like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. If you know someone who would like this knife, hey, send them my way. Uh, I don't, I only have 100 subscribers, or sorry, 101, I don't want to discount one of you. But, uh, like I said, I only have 101 subscribers. There's a good chance that you could possibly win this knife. Um, it, it, like I said, it's given me good service, and I want to pass it along to someone else. Alright guys, thanks, take care.